Greetings to everyone, hope everyone is in pink of their health. This side shows the party. I am a second year student pursuing BLLB honors from MIT Law School, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. And currently, I am working as a legal intern with Lexus and Company. So today, we are going to discuss the doctrine of severability. So doctrine of severability is an important doctrine uh, relating to the Article 13 of Indian Constitution. Uh, it basically uh, defines uh, the procedure for uh, uh, for the uh, separation of the valid and the invalid portion. Um, of any act or any law uh, for uh, there was a case uh, uh, known as state of bombay versus f n balsara in which uh, in which it, uh, the rule was laid uh, for uh, that the separation of the valid portion should be done uh, with the invalid po 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 uh, portion of the act and uh, then there was a re uh, case rmd chamar bewala versus union of india so the rules in this case were laid down that um, the intention of legislature is the determining factor. The test is whether the legislature would have enacted the valid parts had if known the rest of the statute was invalid in determining the intent of legislature it would be legitimate to take into account the history of legislation its object to title etc. So, uh, for any statute if you want to uh, apply the doctrine of severability you must uh, have you must be aware of the object of the legislature uh, on wh when uh, while defining the act or the statute at the time so if the valid and the invalid provision are so inextricably mixed up so that they can be cannot be separated from one another they, then the invalidity of the portion must result in the invalidity of the act in eternity if both the parts are separable then valid portion will keep on working invalid will be deleted so if they are uh, if they can't be separated as they are related to each other then the uh, in then uh, then the uh, whole act or the statute become will become invalid but if they can be separated so the separation would be done so the separation of the valid and the invalid parts would be done if the valid and the invalid part are separable but are part of same scheme and if separated will lead to the end of the object of the act whole act will be invalid so in a case where the uh, valid and the invalid part are the uh, are the uh, parts are separable but are part of the same scheme but it would lead to the uh, but if the if they are they got separated then it would lead to the uh, failure in the object of the scheme then the whole act will be invalid if the invalid part is so much whole uh, in act will be invalid then also so if there is uh, a ratio that 80 percent of the act is invalid and 20 uh, percent of the act is valid so the as the invalid portion is so much uh, in quantity so the whole act would result uh, would be invalid as a result of that and if the uh, if after the separation valid portion has some errors whole uh, whole law will be void as the judiciary doesn't hold authority to amend or edit the errors so after separation if the valid portion has got some errors the judiciary would uh, uh, would make uh, or invalidate the whole act in that case there was also a case ds nakara versus union of india uh, the sever in, in the rule laid down in that case but the severable invalid portion may be stuck down na not only to restrict but also to enlarge the application of law if such enlargement will have the will save the law so this rule was laid down in that case and there is also one case AK Gopalan versus state of Madras which is also related to the doctrine of severability so if you like uh, this uh, that's all for today if you like this video do, uh, do uh, click on the like button don't forget to press the bell icon and click on the subscription button to get the further updates thank you